Good morning. Welcome to California Gardenscapes. I'm standing underneath an oak tree and I know that many people out there are going to be aware that oaks are quite characteristic of the landscape throughout most of coastal California. Not this one though. This is Quercus Engelmanii, also known as the Engelman's oak, and it's extremely rare. More than 95% of the natural populations of this species occur in San Diego. And this is an interesting oak because it behaves very differently than the coast live oak or black oaks or interior live oak that many people are going to be familiar with. This one comes from an ancient Mexican lineage of Quercus that's actually reliant on monsoonal moisture cycles. This doesn't exactly sound like Mediterranean California, does it? A long time ago, much of southeastern California was based on a monsoonal moisture regime, just like the Sonoran Desert in parts of southern Arizona and northern Mexico. And that's when this species came to exist throughout that same space of California. Over the last 20 million years, things have dried out, and particularly during the summer time of the year. So now we're reliant on short intervals that we hope to be quite wet during our winter and oftentimes we will go for eight months without appreciable rainfall throughout the dry season. It's actually challenging these oaks throughout their native range because the natural climate cycles are drying out and starting not to favor these beautiful oak trees. In fact, people are just not seeing natural recruitment of this species in the wild at all anymore as sad as that is to say. That's also an opportunity though, for gardens like ours, gardens like yours, and actually for the surrounding community throughout San Diego, which is a amazing rare habitat for this species, as long as we can treat it a little bit specially. So I mentioned this behaving very differently from the other oaks in California, and that is because it actually likes summer water. This is a garden variety oak in a certain sense, but it's also one of the rarest species of oaks in all of North America. So not only do I highly recommend you look into Quercus engelmanii if you're looking to put a tree into your own landscape, I'm also happy to tell you that we're working with the city of Encinitas to get some of these rare species into municipal plantings. And in fact, this Arbor Day, we're gonna put a big dedication Engelman oak into a park where we're doing restoration project. So I hope that as time goes on and these grow into the amazing majestic specimens that they are known to be in places like Santa Isabel Preserve, that you'll walk through the garden and realize that not only are these plants amazing in the space for all of the kind of garden aesthetic reasons and shade trees are great in a hot sunny place like Southern California, but every piece of this place somehow has a role in educating research and conservation related to plants.